I wouldn't walk to set alone because I yeah, was so scared. Yeah, it was scary. I was nervous going into it because I'm like really scared of horror. I can't watch it normally. And I was like, I'm probably not going to watch this movie. I've always been such a passionate lover of horror and um, the, the expectation and the weight of the expectation of horror fans is something that inspires me and terrifies me. Certainly, I wanted to make a very scary film and what scares me are the supernatural moments, ghosts, the things that are a little bit unknown and unexplained. So when I was making Master, I just tried to draw from my life, the things that give me nightmares and the things that keep me up at night. Last name, first name? Warren. Jasmine. Guys, she got the room. Legends. Ancaster College is crowded with them. When you go to a school that's nearly as old as the country, you can expect to hear a few. Mariama created a complete world around us. It was really easy to dive into the creepiness, to, to dive into the paranormal, everything. I mean, we're, we were on abandoned campuses. We were on, you know, in, in snowy, cold um, environments. So I think- Cemeteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, everything that we experienced and witnessed around us on set was, it just informed our performances and I think it kind of helped us dive in. I wouldn't walk to set alone because I yeah, was so scared. Yeah, it was scary. I was nervous going into it because I'm like really scared of horror. I can't watch it normally and I was like, I'm probably not going to watch this movie. I did, but and I'm glad I did, but I literally made either Zoe, Talia, somebody yeah. walk we with me. We always had a buddy. A buddy because it looked like you're in a horror movie, yeah. not on a, you know, happy-go-lucky campus. Yeah. So you live here too? Yeah. The whole school's cursed. Okay, you're, you're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to scare me. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's real. It's wild because Regina is an actor that I've known has existed in my imagination since I was in middle school. And I've known her primarily as a comedic actress and a brilliant comedic actress. But then I started to see her step out of, you know, that lane and try different stuff and try risks. And I saw her in Support the Girls and I loved that film and I loved her performance. And I thought that it was, it was really layered and nuanced and human and it, it just made me really start to see her as Gail and you know the film it, it moves in a lot of different tones and places and and I really wanted to have the opportunity to work with someone who could handle the range you know of emotions that that Gail goes through and Regina was the person it's it's a small moment the scene between Jasmine and the dining worker it's a really you know it's a brief scene but to me it's so incredibly important in this you know the broader discussion that I was trying to have in the film and it's it for me it was about the way that you know blackness exists in an institution like Ancaster and when I wrote it in the script uh, I described that um, character the dining worker as putting on a folksy act for the students mm -hmm. and you you see this way that she's kind of she's playing up a certain kind of you know a uh, concept of blackness that clearly you know is uh, what what the space kind of demands of her. And I think that for that character, she is willing and comfortable and quite reluctantly, though uh, though she's still doing it, able to play that part. But when she's confronted by another black woman, it's like, it's not, it's, it's a mixture of shame and of um, anger, I think as well to, to be in this sort of space. And I think that, you know, Jasmine's uh, appearance in front of her just it really knocks the wind out of uh, out of that woman and out of that character. Jasmine walks in, seeing her interaction with all of these other students. I think there was even a part of Jasmine that was expecting it to be even bigger because we're connecting on a different level. I think that moment where her face drops is a, a complete shock for Jasmine, but also in some ways very heartbreaking because she knew that where she thought she may have an ally, it wasn't there again. So, I understand. I went through it. Can I just... So this is the tricky part, right? Because Mariama does such a wonderful job at separating, okay, we're not working right now, let's have a good time. 
we're working with a heavy script, so let's be fun and friendly yeah. and amazing. But when it's time to work, let's get down and focus. And I think that we found the balance. I I, yeah. I, I would say that we, we did. I mean, we would just dance in between mm -hmm. all takes and it was super light. But I think that's also kind of the, the vibe you were going for, for the right. group of girls, because it's kind of like all this crazy stuff is happening, but we're kind of aloof to it. And, and the rest of us, and the only people that are really experiencing it are Jasmine, um, you know, and, and Regina. Yeah, I mean, we were also really lucky with this group. Um, every time that Noah and Talia and Ella would be on set, it was so much fun and such a relief because, you know, in the making of the film, a lot of the scenes are intense and they demand a lot of Zoe and of Regina. And so when we would do the scenes with Jasmine and her little friend group, uh, despite the fact that these girls were, you know, perhaps not the most supportive in the film, in reality, they were so tight and it was, it was a very necessary energy to bring to set. Thank <laughs> you.